All right, got everything in the trunk. We are good to go. So I have for you all today a 2024 Mini Cooper SE, and this one is pretty nice. So for starters, this one is finished in Nanook White, and it wasn't one of my favorite colors when it first came out, but it's grown on me since then. And with the piano black exterior trim, it really just looks very nice. We have the black pedal spoke wheels on it as well. All the black trim here. We got a white multi-tone roof, which fades to black. And this one looks really good. The whole thing has a very almost monochrome look overall. Now inside we have leatherette interior, we have obviously automatic transmission, we have a center armrest, and my phone fits in there perfectly. We also have a heated steering wheel, that's a nice feature to have as well. And if we get in and start this car up, now for those of you who don't know, when you start an electric Mini, it beeps Mini in Morse code. And there it was. Not the chime that we just heard, but that one. We also have touchscreen navigation, which is great. I love touchscreen navigation. That also means we have Apple CarPlay. Another fun fact, as you're hearing the chimes now, is because I have the door open, I turn the car on, and it turns itself off when you open the door. So there is that detail right there. This car is also equipped with Harman Kardon, which is nice. This really cool fiber alloy dash, and we have a panorama sunroof. We have all the nice features in here that you would expect in a Cooper S. Now, of course, in the back, we have plenty of cargo space that you would need. We have a load floor here. We have flat folding rear seats. So under the bonnet, we have a 181 horsepower electric motor with a zero to 60 of 7.3 seconds. Now, yes, there is a shroud currently sitting here, but if we take the shroud away, through the magic of camera editing, we have our electric motor and quite a nice electric motor. In fact, I think it looks really cool like this. I wonder if I could just drive the car around without the cover on it. Now, yes, it has all of the cables and everything and the cage that you would find with an electric motor or Mini Cooper. But my favorite thing is what is right here. I know I say favorite thing, but work with me here. This is the engine mount. And I say engine mount for an obvious reason. Now, the reason for this is because this is the standard mounting location for the internal combustion car as well for the engine mount. And on the electric car, they use the same exact location for the electric motor. So effectively reusing locations for mounting points to make the assembly process a lot easier and make it so that you truly can put an electric motor and electric powertrain into the F56. This makes it a really cool setup because there's nothing knew they had to create to make it work. And as such, I wonder if we could take this a step further and race these things. And for that matter, you can actually do that because I did find the Next Gen Cup on YouTube and on Instagram. And what they do is race electric Mini Coopers. Those are actually really tricked out ones because they have a increased battery range. They have an increased output and they even have a launch mode, which I've heard is really cool. And I've seen it on video. These things look really fun taking off under full acceleration. And what's neat about it is those cars are basically the racing equivalent of the mini pace setter concept car, which was the concept car slash pace car that Mini developed for the Formula E racing series. I always felt they should have actually made them into a production car. Well, here comes this racing series and they actually managed to do it. And I wish they had brought it over to the US. But in the meantime, we know that the electric Mini has the capabilities of being a fun little race car. Now, of course, with the motor cover back on, we have a very clean, very tidy engine bay. Or is it motor bay? I don't know. It's not an engine, it is a motor, but I digress. So with all of that, there is one downside to this whole car. And that is that because this electric is not made in the US, it doesn't get the tax credit. Now, $7,500 tax credit is a lot of money when you think about it. So there is one draw, hold on a second, my phone's ringing. Yep. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I got the new electric Mini Cooper right here in front of me. Well, 2024, so current electric Mini Cooper. Yeah. Yeah, we're just talking about the fact that it doesn't have the tax credit anymore because it's not a US car, US made car, that is. Oh, it does get the tax credit, but not that way. No. Oh, okay. So it does get $7,500 off. But what's the catch? There has to be a catch. Oh, okay. So it's $7,500 off if you lease the car. 
but I didn't think you could lease the electric mini. Oh, you can. Well, oh, and you have that? Cool. All right. Well, I got something to tell the audience then. Thanks. All right. Well, you can get a discount on this, providing you lease it. You can get $7,500 off on the electric mini if you lease the electric mini. So that takes this $36,000, $37,000 car, pushes it under thirty grand. That's pretty good. And it gets even better because if you lease this one, the dealership's taking $9,000 off the price if you lease it. So that makes it even better. So that's a good deal. What does that mean? Well, that means apparently I'm just noticed now this thing in the window cleverly put on the dashboard that if you put $3,000 down, you get a $500 a month car payment or lease payment, zero cash down, $599 a month lease payment, 10,000 miles a year with end of lease purchase option of just $15,490 on a $36,000 car. Huh, well then, you heard it here. You can get the $7,500 off this car, but not as a tax credit. It comes as a lease discount if you lease the car. So, sounds like a bargain to me. I mean, I mean, I might have to go lease this one myself, unless you all happen to beat me to it. But that's pretty impressive. All right then, well, I guess we have a way of getting an affordable electric Mini Cooper for not a lot of money. I think that makes this car the more affordable electric offering in the US now. So, sorry Nissan. Anyway, if you like what you see and you want to see more, check out more content on this channel at the end of this video. And as always, life is too short to drive a boring car. So uh, drive a Mini. And I would have given you an exhaust clip on this car, but obviously no exhaust. So I'll see you all later. And I do mean that. I'm gonna go take this thing for a drive. You're all gonna have to just wait here. So sorry. <laughs>